Hi, this is Scott again from PimpMyPS3.com here with another instructional video. This is a backwards compatible system. It has the four USB ports. We're going to show you today how to disassemble a motherboard and get the motherboard out of the case. The top part's already been disassembled because that was featured on a previous video. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by unplugging the power supply for the Blu-ray. We're going to lift up the front of the Blu-ray drive. I'm going to lift up on the clip, drop the ribbon cable, pull the Blu-ray drive out, put it to the side. As you can see here, this system is very dirty, hasn't been pulled apart yet, and cleaned. Um, I'm going to lift up this side of the clip on the ribbon cable. Be very careful with the clips, make sure you don't break them. Put the ribbon cable to the side. Now we're going to be taking out power supply. You unplug the front wire from the front of the power supply, the white wire. Pull that out, lift up on the power supply. There's actually a little piece of tape here that you're going to want to remove. And just lift up on the top of it there and pull that wire out from underneath the tape. You're going to lift up on the front of the power supply, pull it forward, and there's a white plug, white and black, white and gray wire plug on the back end, plug that, put that to the side. Okay, now that we have the power supply out, it is going to be... Okay, now that the motherboard screws have been removed, you make sure that you remove your hard drive cover from the side. This will not let you pull up the motherboard from the case if this is still intact. Take out just the cover, you know, take out the hard drive. Okay. Lift up on the front like so. Okay, you lift up on the back, right where the power supply is here, and it'll come right out like so. It actually comes off with a piece of the case on the back, as you can see. Look how dirty that case is! Unbelievable! Look at the size of that dust bunny. Okay. This is why we also buy screws the on the power here. supply. This is a screws pretty good reason on the motherboard that you have to take out. Okay, now we're going to have to remove the five screws from the Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi board. These are the screws that you have to remove. Okay, now that you've removed these screws, you're going to take a screwdriver. Lift up on this ground clip here with the ribbon cable. Yes, Con, we know you're there. Okay, pull the ribbon cable up on that. Pull out this last screw for this little board back here. This is actually what receives the Wi Fi signal for the wireless connection. Okay, now we slide it forward like so, and you'll see another clip right here for this ribbon cable. You lift up on that clip, and then slide that ribbon cable straight up, comes out like so. Put that to the side, and now we're going to have to remove this one screw here. It's a ground wire for your power supply plug. Take that screw out. Now there's going to be two clips up top, lift up on the clip as you pull back, lift up on this clip as you pull back, now just keep a little bit of pressure on them, hold them out, and there's three clips on the bottom, one clip here, one clip here, and one clip here, okay, and that's your power supply plug, we'll put that to the side, and that is the disassembled. Thank you for watching this instructional video from PimpMyPS3.com and we'll have another video shortly to show you the disassembly of the case.